You may have seen this on uh, Instagram. I may have seen it. I was at the grocery store yesterday. You didn't see that? Buying what? Dinner. Ingredients. That's a weird place to buy, but okay. Yeah. Go on. And um, as I was there, I hear, excuse me, and I look, and there's this young Indian girl with an excited and nervous look on her face. She said, are you Rick? Well, Rick, you're married. And I, I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's a stupid baby. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, she's from Tamil Nadu. And uh, she was really sweet. It was really great to encounter a stupid baby at the grocery store. And Ashley was recognized by a stupid baby in the airport in Tucson. We're everywhere, man. Wow. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corp. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us to become subscribed to the like button. I mean, we have 1.3 billion people that watch. Uh, hold on, billion or million? Where billion. are we in? Billion. Million. Uh, no. Well, those uh, are pretty close together. You though. were prophesying, just like you said, we're, we're, we need a plague. Yeah. And COVID came. I believe we will we be need the another first. one. I agree with you. Uh, is there a YouTube channel to hit a billion subscribers yet? No. Okay, let's do it. No. Come on, stupid army, organize. Let's pretty, do it. Pretty sure T-Series is the biggest YouTube channel on the planet. Yeah, but they have what? Probably 100 something million. 100, like close to 200 two, million? Two something million. Yeah, we maybe. can pass that. Yeah, probably. Easy. Today, uh, we're doing a movie review. <laughs> and it is of the new 2023 film, Malayalam film, Irata. <sighs> Which we just which stands for the saw Rata. the trailer. It stands for what? The Rada. Ah, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> directed and written by Rohit M. G. Krishnan, uh, and produced and starring in dual roles, Jojo George. Jojo George. Uh, and it's on Netflix, and so it is new. So we're going to do mostly non spoiler. Yeah, and then we will get into some spoils for yeah. you, uh, just because it's new. Even though it like it, it's been out, like it was in theaters, but it just came to OTTs, I think, just a, just a little bit ago. Um, and so we're going to do a little bit non-spoilers for those that haven't seen it. If you want to watch it before you even watch it on spoilers, it's on Netflix. Uh, and it's only an hour 50 or something around that time frame. Um, so, oh, it's less than that. Oh, really? Yeah, it's still... It's it's all, it's a, no, it's more like an hour 12, hour 15. No, it's Hour different. 50 would be three hours. One hour 50. Yeah, one hour fifty is. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. I thought you said. Wow. I keep banging SRK. <laughs> Don't we all? You got it, baby. Uh, Just leave it. So Don't touch it. I, Don't touch it. Uh, sorry. I thought you meant one hundred and fifty minutes. No. Okay. Hour there you fifty. Go. Hour fifty. <laughs> one hour fifty. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure so that's what I'm, you meant. Yes. Oh, okay. It'll be. Uh, Should we make our half the video yeah. about the runtime? Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, and uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. I thought it was. It felt like a three-hour film. How long did it run for? An hour fifty. Hour fifty. Oh, I thought it was one hundred and fifty minutes. Wow. But that's my takeaway. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do more than just talk about the runtime. <laughs> Shut up. Just <laughs> say what you thought about the film. Uh. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, we'll talk about <sighs> Mr. George, um, and I. Uh, it's but you, going in, just know and be prepared. And I hope, I would assume, the majority of the stupid family are are of this kind of uh, mindset that you you enjoy films that are lovely narratives focused on story and character development and relationships. And you just want to sit and watch really good acting and be interested in a whodunit that has personal connections mm -hmm. and a, a, a really, really great performance. I'm not saying performances. Yeah. A really great performance by Joju George, who shows you exactly the way you should approach a dual role when you're when you're when you're playing yeah. uh, twins like this. I I I really enjoyed this movie. Yeah, it was. Uh, I did as well. I thought it was a really interesting film. Also, trigger warning for those that it, there's something about rape in this movie. So just know that going in. That's all I'm going to say about it. Some people don't like. They don't show any rape. No, but that's important to know. The subject matter is going to be part of the story. 
and it it ha- has to be. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, good yeah, to know. I'm not gonna it's good spoil- to know. I, I, but but it you is, don't see it, it. No, there's just, there's nothing. Th- there's a spoiler to know about that, and it doesn't give anything away that there, you're not going to see. A, no, a depiction but there of a rape is scene. there is rape that is implied. Yeah. Um. And so just f- I know some people obviously if they have trauma in their past or right. stuff like that. It's I just want to know you guys as as yeah. is domestic violence. If yes. you have domestic violence, yeah, in your past, you should know that Once that's again, part of the subject. Yeah. Not a not a ton visually that that no. would probably trigger you, but no, it's not by the the thought of it that'll bring up. You, this film does have that. And, and it's we wouldn't bring this up in other films because there's been a lot of really violent films that have those subject matter. But when it's when it's super, super violent, that tends to go outside the realm of the more day in, day out kind of vernacular that people experience. It can still be triggering for people, but this is this is such a believable story that is so grounded and so real that the lesser exposure can be even sometimes more traumatic than a, a yeah. full-blown in your face. Yeah. yeah. I thought uh, Joju George did a... Oh, I can't wait to talk about what he did. A uh, fantastic job. And so we'll just go over a little non-spoiler stuff. I thought the story was really well weaved. Mm-hmm. Um, it There was some stuff that maybe I, I would have maybe done differently. I agree. Uh, we can get into that in the spoilers but, for sure. I didn't think it like there was nothing that was glaringly bad in, in, in the film. There's just stuff that I, me personally, I would probably connected it a little crisper yeah, there's, maybe like uh, there's one aspect of it i would have executed um different specifically just in the in the in the writing and the story and when a particular big revelation is revealed mm. and and when and how that was revealed mm. it's just a, a preference of mine it doesn't but yeah, like yeah, yeah. like you said it doesn't no, it doesn't ruin make it. the film. Um, and there's, I thought the the it was a really subtle score behind it a lot, a lot of it, but also it kind of added to the to yeah, some of the suspense. I thought the score was and great. It, uh, like it starts and it kind of grips you immediately in in this film, and and you're like, what the hell is going on? And then you're gripped by Joji George's performance. I mean, we've only seen I think two or three of his films, uh, maybe four tops. But he's always fantastic, and this is probably his best performance uh, that I've seen of his so far. Yes, without question. And he does a, he does a great job. And so overall, I think it's definitely a worthy watch if you're into kind of almost crime dramas, uh, a little more intense. Yeah, a uh, who done it? Yeah, uh, not not like a fun one, like a like a like a glass it's not, onion. It's, yeah, it's not no. knives out. <laughs> no, no, not nothing like that. It's far more. It's far more real. Real. I mean, yeah. this this knives out. Is clearly something that you think, wow, this, this is the, the odds of this happening are pretty low. <laughs> this feels more. Yeah, this could happen. Almost true story ish, you know? It feels really, I bet it's really good. A lot of people's true story, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so that, that, that'll be the non spoiler. It's just, I think it's a very good movie. Yeah. And I think you should definitely go go watch it. I think it's definitely a worthy watch. A short watch, too. Oh, like yeah. An hour, 50 minutes. Um, and I think it, it kind of runs by pretty quickly because you're engaged for the yep. most part the whole time you're engaged the whole time there is we'll get into this in the spoilers there's no novelty at all in these these twin roles no this is you you as you should stop thinking about one actor playing two characters and you're just absorbed in the story of these twins and and it's a it's a conversation it'd be fun to watch with someone and begin to process together what do you think happened, mm-hmm. who do you think's doing this, or who do you trust, who do you not trust. Mm-hmm. And uniformly, I felt everybody – the biggest factor with a, with a grounded storytelling is always in one word, believability. Mm-hmm. And from start to finish, everybody did it. Sometimes, especially in smaller roles, mm. the believability factor can get injured. And you know you're watching just you 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 just go oh because the acting was so bad and that never happens in this film yeah throughout you just believe what you're watching so yeah go watch it uh, we're gonna get into spoils now so if you haven't watched it please stop here yeah because it's gonna come back after you're done watching it once again it's on Netflix please go check that out um, so let's talk about Joju George obviously because yeah. he's uh, our our main lead yep. uh, of this film uh, such a mastery of doing two roles I feel like. Um, because how lot, you do it. I mean, obviously, it, it just depends on the film. Obviously, this is a very realistic film, and so uh, as opposed to like if there's a big Bollywood film and like one character is supposed to be this big bombastic and right. the other twin is bubble. That's I mean, they're trying to do something completely different. That's yeah, that's yeah. entertainment. Yeah, that's just entertainment. That's just an entertainment uh, in terms of just um, 
And then you could kind of blend the two with what uh, like uh, Tom Hardy did in Legend. Yes. <laughs> those were caricatures, uh, e- each one of those they as well. They were very but big. Very realistic as yeah. well. Um, this one, it was just so subtle. They were very similar in a lot of like, in a lot of, like mannerisms and, and stuff like that. But also he didn't have cliche no. kind of mannerisms or anything like a twitch one has. Right. Or, like, like, or a scar. Yeah. Or... <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously they were very different personality wise though. Uh, and you could tell, like, when one was on screen, you're like, okay, I know which one this is. Uh, I know which one that is. And it's all very subtle. Yeah. Um, but he did a f- uh, masterful job. I he say. did. And a big part of the credit also goes to the way the scenes where the brothers are together are shot because it was done in a way to show you, hey, we're using special effects right here. But it was never, hey, we're using special effects right here. <laughs> they never did anything bigger than they needed to. Yeah. It was all grounded in the storytelling, like the scene where they're sitting at the table and he gets mad and he throws the table. And that's all we were left with. Yep. They didn't they didn't try to stretch that. Everything felt justified. Mm-hmm. And for his portrayal, uh, the best way I could describe it is he simply changed the shading of the color of each person, which is really what differentiates when you, if you've ever known identical twins, most people who don't know them can't tell them apart. When you get to know them, you don't understand why people can't get to tell them apart because they, that you just, but part of that is truly just the nuances of the person, the differentiation of the person. Yeah. And I felt like he did enough substantiating of these characters particularly uh Vinod Vinod mm. who has a a more uh unresolved trauma brokenness mm. but he never plays that he's just he just is it and it's it's the difference between one character to me has a little more bright colors in it and the other one's a little more hued and grays that's how subtle it is. But yeah, I knew each character. I Every time each character was on screen, I knew who we were looking at. And it was so interesting, obviously, because it, it starts off with, you know, you see, uh, you know, somebody got shot. And then um, oh, yeah. and then the they went to Joju's other character, um, who's n- not dead. Uh, and you kind of follow him and he gets a call and you're like, okay, what happened here? What's what's going on? Because you're like, did they shoot the kids? Did they, mm-hmm. what, what's going on here? And then you go and then it's Jojo George on the ground. And so you, obviously that, that starts your intrigue into, into the, into the film and what's, what's happening. And then they do kind of the backstories and you're like, yeah, I'm kind of glad he's dead, mm-hmm. right? Like <laughs> at first, yeah, you're, you're like, like wow. you're, you're 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 raping people, uh, and you're just kind of an asshole. And then they kind of <laughs> they because some people I saw some people like, why did he need a love interest? And I was like, I think that was to show you that he wasn't just this evil. Like obviously, he did a very evil thing, and that's <laughs> he's probably evil in some aspects, right? Right. But then they were like, okay, maybe this was just a one-off drunk thing. Not saying it's okay, not trying to justify it any that that's what they were trying to do with this character of mm-hmm. now he's having a love interest who <laughs> he thought about raping for a second, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so like he has this very gray uh to black uh part of his self, but then you're like, okay, maybe he's changed, maybe he's really remorsed, maybe blah blah blah, and like you show this so people would care about him, yeah to then to finally. <laughs> reveal what the fuck he actually did yeah uh which obviously would have been enough just if he, he raped somebody in in general obviously that's just awful enough and he should have to pay for that but then that whole twist in the ending right yep that that's a twist oh yeah that uh because i was actually upset for a while i was like really he just killed himself Really? That's it? Right. Like, I was I was getting, I was, and the film wasn't over, and I was like, okay, so how are we going to finish this? So he just killed himself? I was hoping for a better... Me too. ...payoff, and I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Which it is. I, I get it. I'm, and I'm glad they gave the stat, the statistic. One of the officers said 4% of suicides can be multiple gunshots, because it's rare. Oh, yeah. Very, very rare for you to pull the trigger more than once. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But it can, um, it, it can happen. Well, obviously, the 
a gun is very sensitive and the, and the trigger is very yeah, sensitive. Very so, sensitive. And a lot of if you go like this and you jerk and you keep jerking. Exactly. Could, because you're going to have motor reflexes yeah. happening even after your brain function yeah. is gone. Um, but obviously, <laughs> if you're trying to commit suicide, uh, don't shoot for your chest. Yeah. I, I don't want to I, 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 I was, was just going to say, I don't think we're going to give you <laughs> guidelines on how <laughs> to a, a more efficiently do it. Do it. But, and then you were like, okay, I mean, yeah, you raped somebody, so you probably should have just killed yourself in general anyway, because that's pretty bad. But then to that whole thing of like who he raped, who he raped was yeah. his brother's daughter. Right. And I saw some theories in, in comments. Some people thought he had an affair with his brother's wife mm. and it was actually his, his daughter. own daughter. I don't know if that's true. I didn't pick up on it. That's a good they, theory. They, they gave some interesting theory, like, some uh, evidence of bad what, enough. It's his niece. Yes. Uh, but the fact that he, what he did and then what Joju, the, the other mm -hmm. uh, twin did. Uh, and you're like, yeah, how can he ever meet his daughter knowing the person that raped her looked just like him? Right. And it was his brother. Right. Like, it's like, how it's can I show her my face? Because every time she sees my it's face, it's going to be pain. It's going to be the face of her rapist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's a great, it's a great twist. Yeah. Because you're like, I, you understand it. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> and it also... Like any good character study, you get nature versus nurture. It might and be I, both. I, I, yeah, and it may be both because you get to see of the two boys, the one who got the more crap end of the deal is Vinod mm. and how certain things shape us. And is was he the way he was more because that's just his nature or was it more because of the brokenness and the pain he went through? Which I found might be both. Yeah, one of the most critical moments for the character, and I'd love to talk to Joju George about this, is that moment where his his future girl. He looks like he's going to rape her, mm -hmm. and he chooses not to. That's a critical, really important moment mm. for that character, who I think at that point. I mean, even when he's with her, he says, "I'm filthy," and she doesn't say no you're not interestingly she knows yeah it's very well written the yeah. character development of these brothers but especially i think this story is about this is vinod's story yeah is exceptionally well created yeah i think and i saw some people that were kind of like why give him the love interest mm -hmm. because obviously we had seen that he at least at that point was accused of raping somebody mm. um and then, but then the the cops said they investigated, and who who knows what that means? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really go down that lane of why the the couple didn't say anything, uh, uh, or anything like that. Um, I, why do you think? Because I, I have don't. a strong feeling as to why he had a love interest. Well, no, I know why because they wanted you to feel for him. They wanted you to have a, him a more of a gray feeling. Than Absolutely, just, this is an evil rapist, even though he is. He is. <laughs> However. It's, it wasn't like a sociopath. Kind no, of. it's it's one of the best things about the way the writing and the acting in the the Dahmer series on Netflix is so good mm. because it takes you into the mind of someone who did some of the most extraordinarily evil acts in modern human history. Mm. Yet, it's not. There is no human being that even a sociopath is not just pure evil. Mm. And there's a level of, it's not necessarily empathy, but there, but for the grace of God, go I. And that it were, were I in that circumstance, what would I have done? And you never know until you're in it. You, you truly would never know. It's just like you... I have a fight or flight reflex. You don't know that till you're in a situation that demands you to do it without thinking, mm. where you have to fight or flight. You won't know till you're in it. Yeah. And unless you have gone through what that character went through, you don't know if you would be that. I'd like to hope I would never do any of those kinds of things. But at the same time, uh, and that's that's to me, the reason for the love interest is yeah. to show you that it is gray and that people... People, even the most debased person, has some aspect of them that could be redeeming. Yeah, which makes him his his death. It wouldn't be a tragedy. It would be justice to see just a purely evil guy kill himself. It'd be like, yeah, good. 
Where's the rest of them? Kill them yeah. too. But for him, so, that's, there's so, tragedy so to it. Yeah, it was tragedy, and you, you you saw the justice because you're like, yeah, of course. He it, rapes somebody. It's, it's karma. It's in, in, uh, his niece, saw, right? Yeah. Uh, which one thing that I thought was a little convenient that he saw his niece. She was performing. It was on the TV a at the end. A little convenient. I I gave I forgave it. I was like, that's fine. Me too. Um, <laughs> that could happen. Sure, it right. could happen. Right. <laughs> but it was just a, it's a tad bit convenient there at the end. Yeah. Um. But like you you totally understood it because you're like, um, he can't escape that. And guilt. I didn't think because he, he wasn't. I don't think he was thinking about killing himself before no. that happened. No. At all. No. Uh, but then, like, once that happens, so he saw, obviously, he, he probably, hopefully, grapples with the the evil that he did ever since. I think he'd been trying, I think he'd been trying to run away from it forever. Yeah. And that just for him was, I will never escape this. No. And what will my brother do? Yep. What will my wife do? What, I will never escape this. I don't deserve to live. No. Yeah. Now, the thing I would have changed, mm. um, I loved the payoff at the very, very end. Mm. I would have left, I would have ended the film with with all of the payoff. I wouldn't have revealed the suicide as simply mm. as it was revealed. I, I kind of felt let down, like you said mm. earlier on about, oh, he just killed himself? I mm. was expecting a little bit of a better payoff than that. Um, but if it had been part of that final the total payoff where he's, you know, he's looking in the mirror and he was going to realize he's not going to. I would have loved to have seen it just all in one fell hammer mm. at the end. Just edit it a little bit. Yeah, just that's my own personal preference. Yeah. My thing was, and I didn't really have an issue with that part because I liked, I loved the mirror aspect. Oh, I, I thought that was great. Well acted, very well acted by Joe Ju and obviously well shot by the cinematographer and the uh, and the director there. Um, Said so much with no lines. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was really unique thing to do there at the end too um so i enjoyed that um the thing i would have changed was i'm not a huge fan of flashbacks and there was just a lot of them to tell the story yeah um and so i think i would have maybe just preferred maybe a little less sure of that yeah um those don't bother me yeah it's just not as how'd you feel how did you feel watching godfather part two (laughs) that half of that film is told in flashback i know (laughs) <laughs> um, I haven't seen that film since I was probably 15, though. Okay. And, and, and so I might have a different feel of You probably feel have it. a different feel. Uh, now, it's, it's glorious. I, I mean, 15 is probably way too young to see that film anyway, but I did. Hey, I, my grandpa made me watch Godfather <laughs> 1 and 2 when I was 7 years old. So. <laughs> um, but every, I mean, overall, I thought this was a, a an A film. I, I, if I would give it a grade, I'd probably give it an A-. minus. I, I thought yeah, it was, I would too. I, 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 I think it's a it's well cut. I think there was a good payoff in the end. Fantastic performances by everybody. It, very Malayalam in terms of just obviously acting and story driven. And obviously, but, but, uh, and I, somebody gets upset with me whenever we say that. I'm like, I'm that's not all that's there. I'm a because somebody's like you, you, you're you're negating the fact that there's amazing cinematography and and I'm not no because <laughs> there is yeah uh, they just I my two favorite things are the fact that they it's always really good acting and really good story and there's obviously usually always really good cinematography as well and 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 and, and sometimes there's sometimes it's more stand out ish than others mm-hmm. uh but like the yeah. the last Marley Young film of uh, yeah i mean the three favorite i mean i have to think about it three favorite films that we've watched this year probably all three of Marley albums right now this one the associates even though that didn't come out this year and then lgps mm-hmm Kuti would probably be right behind that. But the difference, for example, um, this one is so much more, um, it's more, it's simpler yes. than, you know. The Associates. Well, and LJP, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. LJP is, 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 is as high a cinematic IQ, and he it's not that he's showing it off. He's just that cinematically, the man's a genius cinematically. Mm-hmm. So... You you to really deeply appreciate him, you you have to have a very broad and long understanding of cinematic storytelling. Whereas this doesn't require that. Should you don't need to have that. That's just who he is. Mm-hmm. Just like you know, Christopher Nolan's Christopher Nolan. Not everybody has to be a Christopher Nolan, mm-hmm. but this one has an accessibility to it that I think I think a lot of people could see any LJP film and walk away going, I don't know what that was about. Mm-hmm. I don't get that at all. 
versus this one, I think most people would watch this and absolutely track the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, that, I thought a fantastic film. Let us know what you thought about the film. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't and like Joju it, Joju George, man. Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to talk to Joju George at some point. Great. Um, I don't think we've talked to any Malayalam actors outside of um, LJP, but yeah, he's, a, he's a director. director but yeah. I don't have a lot of contacts, so if anybody does, please let me know. There's a bunch of Malayalam actors I would love to talk to. Um, let us know what the next Malayalam film that we should watch is down below.